Hi guys, today I want to take you to uh, another garden tour. This is early September and um, I don't know, I see a lot of flowers so I thought just do another garden tour just for kicks. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm Melanie from Fist Sauce Mama and uh, if you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. Let's go. So this is always, uh, I have this uh, gardens all packed in there with a lot of plant and uh, throughout the, the the month i've been munching on them pretty good i got some uh, flowers here and there that i don't know just so cute to pull them out they're actually weeds <laughs> they're flowers but not where i want them to be so they're they're weeds and i have a lot of go-to color they uh they seem to do an okay. They they run around and give that dress, you know, hanging, looking really neat, really cute. So I just keep them there and continue to have them uh, add into my salad. Uh, this is a lemon balm. Uh, this year I don't eat as much, so every time I eat some Vietnamese uh, craft craft paste, uh, it's called bung rieu, and um, I love to, to add some in. Uh, my purple perilla has been going crazy. I think I have too many there, but next year I am not going to uh, have it there as I have so many uh, perilla throughout the property, so I don't even need to put it in here to take a spot. But it's so big, it take, it take all the room and it cover up all of my uh, compost bin there. Uh, this year, I decided to stick this uh, marigold in, and I, I realized it was way too big. Uh, next year, he's not going to go into my garden bed because I have so many of these uh, basil. Uh, these are Thai basil, and um, it's created a very tight and humid and way too crowded underneath there. And um, this thing is called, it's been attacked by uh, downy mildew and um, it has a little fuzzy, uh, you know, it just basically just take away all the uh, the leaves and start you know, spreading around and die. It only likes the basil plants though, so that's a good thing. And um, so next year it's going to be uh, less basil here and more basil out that way. So, oops. Um, they I have another uh, lemon balm here snuck in here uh, not too big which is what I want because I'm the only one who eating it and uh, sweet banana pepper for my husband he's still harvesting from this one plant uh, tomatoes is almost done bitter melons snuck in there snuck and it actually has a fruit down there <laughs> um, so this tomato, I thought it was a cherry climbing tomato, but it turned out to be pretty big. Um, it's a purple Cherokee, and uh, they're super, super sweet. And it's, it's super sweeter when they are uh, ripe on the vine. I still have some left, and it's in September. This year, I don't get attacked by a lot, uh, by the, uh, the, uh, the tomato worm, the tomato horn worm. Uh, one was kind of crawl on here and trying to snip off some of this and I was able to take him off. I don't know where he is. He's probably uh, roaming around and uh, eating my hot pepper over there. As I did another video on uh, how to, <laughs> uh, I caught him on one of my hot pepper. But it's still growing. I mean, that's a, a Cherokee, purple Cherokee and it's growing like seven feet tall right now. Uh, I also have another of these uh, bugs, the, the stinky bugs. I keep climbing on here and uh, trying to destroy my tomato this year. But I, I planted a lot, so I think I still got a, quite a, uh, a good amount of tomatoes. And cucumber is done. Um, cucumber is done at the season. Usually they only grow for uh, two months or so, two or three months. And uh, I, I cleaned up and I left about one or two or the last of it uh, to save the sea for next year as so i got another one down here trying to save some seed there 
that one's probably not going to have any seed. That uh, doesn't look like it. But I also started another one. Uh, from, from September to November, I have two months. I hope uh, this guy will grow quick and uh, give me some more cucumber. Maybe late, but you know, it's free. Uh, better bush, getting a little way out of control. <laughs> I've been picking these. They're so simple good. Um, see, I don't know how I got the uh, perilla in there. Some of the pepper, um, some of the uh, flowers and the perilla in there. It's kind of like shaded all of my, oh, I got so many butterflies up here. Two yellow butterflies, so cute. I enjoy these butterfly, well, I don't even know what this is. This is, is that a butterfly or a moth? But they are so enjoyable um, to, 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 to watch. And um, this year my uh, uh, Egyptian spinach is called Arau Day in Vietnamese. And um, they're, <laughs> they're not doing very well, but I only have one plant this year. These are very nutritious. If you have a um, interest in this, get some seed on Amazon. I got some seeds from Amazon and they are super, super big, super uh, uh, prolific or uh, they grow very good. Um, my hot pepper, I have a lot of hot pepper. Uh, this year I'm kind of like, I went into a panic mode uh, for not having enough pepper for the winter and I plant hot pepper everywhere. So I clean up over here a little bit, try to uh, uh, set this up for uh, my uh, winter or a fall garden or I trying to do my radishes because uh, I had a good good uh, crop earlier this year so it was so hot though and um, so I kind of wait for a little bit uh, later and this is where I bury the compost underneath some of these uh, um, bitter melon that came up probably not gonna let it go I'm not sure what this is uh, I'm not gonna let it go either, but uh, some of these are bitter melons uh, that I ate, I threw a seed, and I buried the compost down here, buried the compost down there, and it's all uh, decomposed and it's sunk. Uh, so I kind of like um, go out and bury here and there just to give the soil some, some good stuff. My wing beans is finally taking off. Uh, there's actually five plants down there, but I think there's actually uh, four, three to four plants actually took off. They're, they're kind of like um, green beans or yard bean kind of family. And they have the same or very similar flower here. Uh, where is the one that's bloomed? Um, right here. So uh, they're not going to fruit until with the weather get a little bit cooler uh, sometimes in October because uh, they, they like the, uh, the shorter daytime and longer night. So uh, this variety will be, uh, for zone seven as I am, uh, this variety will be able to give me fruit before I get um, into the frost. And uh, my yard beans been giving me so much, I haven't been able to go out and like pick them fast enough and they're going crazy. See, they, they're super, super good in return, you know. Um, but I, I just, I can't pick them fast enough, so I just let them sit around and maybe uh, see for next year. See, that they're, they're like everywhere. And uh, they continue to give me some more. It's my mom coming, come here and pick some more. So my, uh, my family likes to drink bitter melons as uh, to tea because it helps them uh, sleep well and um, uh, you know healthy and if they have diabetes or whatever they don't have nobody has diabetes but it's just uh, uh, an addiction to uh, bitter melons like we eat a lot of bitter melons and drink a lot of bitter melon teas so we harvest a lot of these leaves and they are such prolific vines they give a lot of fruit I mean, they continue, the, if the weather gets a little cooler, that the temperature gets too, too hot, you know, they don't give as much. But um, when it's getting a little cooler, uh, they tend to um, come out a little bit more. Like, that's still a lot more. 
and they're everywhere here. Let me go back. Uh, I've been so busy, I haven't been able to <laughs> pick these and they turn red, I mean turn yellow and they bust it, but it's okay, that's how I got every year. Like if those I missed, they would just come uh, right down and go down in here. And then next year I would just uh, transplant them. But um, they still have in a bunch. And some of these uh, leaves are kind of yellow because, uh, and brown because, because uh, we've been between uh, my mom and my brother, they've been um, picking these uh, little tips here and they make them into teas. So, I mean, I just kind of pull them and, and jerk them out of here. And so some of these got uh, disconnected and they, uh, I guess the rest of the vine for that section die, but there's still a lot. I mean, this is good because it gives a lot of airflow through there. It helped flow through here because uh, it was kind of way too, too shaded back here. Uh, in, intentionally, I wanted to, to have a shade garden back here, which is what I want, but I had a too much shade, I didn't know the uh, uh, the, string, the yard bean, the string bean here grows so good and it's basically blocked the whole thing except that little area where I walked in and out. And so not much is able to receive sun nor water when it rains because all of that is packed and they only receive some water when it really, really rains. So, uh, but some of the fish mints still love it. Um, I transplant my uh, garlic chive this year and uh, trying to make them a little healthier, bigger. That guy is uh, about to, to die, but I still <laughs> managed to hang on. Uh, let me get out of here and go to the rest of the other garden area. Uh, vine, uh, grapevine is growing very, very good. Uh, at the end of the year or in January, I will be pruning them. And these pear trees, oh, they're so good. I still have one left. Um, it seems like something has been trying to get it, so I'm gonna have to pick it too. Uh, this is a giant, start giant, and this is a hosui. I had six and it was so good. I love it. Uh, these are just my, some of the flowers, pollinated flowers. Uh, I had some of these echinacea leaves. I made them into tea. They're so good. A couple of blueberries. And this is my other garden here. So the squash and the zucchinis are done. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of perilla, so I don't think I need any extra in my other garden bed. Um, my green beans seems to be growing very slowly. They're not grabbing onto these things as much as I would like them to, or maybe they don't have, uh, or maybe this dirt is new or something, but, or maybe it was too hot, I don't know. But these are stringless pole bin, uh, faux pole bean. They're super, super good. They're like so, they have no string. Here, see that? They are super sweet. Mm. And I took in the, the squashes out. I also started three more tomato. So hopefully I have another, uh, another um, uh, you know, crop coming up if it make it. And some of these was, uh, got shaded out, finally taken off. I just string them up and tie them up so they look kind of full. These are Malabar spinach, the red kinds, and the, uh, the hummingbirds have been munching on these a lot. These things have just grown like crazy out here. They love these, uh, the hummingbird loves these, the red berries here. So I see them get on here and they were just munching all those little berries up there. And <laughs> my watermelon, oh my gosh. That is that is horrible, but look at that. It's so cute. It's dead though um, Back here. There's not much water not much um, Sunshine or anything. I don't know watermelon is not it's not my thing this year 
and uh, the flowers are doing great though. Some of the mints are doing great here. Lots of flowers. Um, these are Fuji apples and honey crisps. I mean, it seems like some uh, worms and bugs been eating them. And this this is my persimmon. Um, the squirrels been coming and eating them. And uh, all I can do is just <laughs> laugh at them. <laughs> or just feel sorry for myself i guess but this is the last one that i have <laughs> of this season they all slowly taking them and uh drop and do to all like we have a lot of rain so i hope at least that one will make it to another two months uh maybe a month and a half it start turning yellow and it's gotten pretty big um so but that there's a lot of nice cane growing out this guy is another persimmon that's grown very well. Um, the bugs love these leaves. Figs getting out of control. And even this guy, all the fruit dropped. But the plant itself is growing pretty full in the middle. And my daughter's garden, not much going on. I think I threw some garlics in there. Oh yeah, they're coming up right now. I uh, threw garlics in, in August. And um, I think I'm not going to be doing much with these gardens, so I'm going to let it sit there for a few months, uh, maybe 10 months or a year. And this is another uh, persimmon. Plum trees are going net. And this is my butterfly garden. Uh, all the sunflowers are gone, but still got a few flowers here and there. Butterflies seems to love this area a lot. They go on around here and uh, a lot of bees. Uh, pomegranate, this, I think it's, uh, this is ever sweet. I haven't seen anything, so I don't really know if it's sweet or not. But it's only, uh, it's been died out every year and this year has finally got to that big. Um, I can't wait if I ever get any fruit out of that thing. And this thing uh, track a lot of bees and the butterflies. I don't know what that beetle is doing. Um, that's another pear tree. Blueberries and basils at the end here. Uh, this stretch has been doing very well. There's a lot of zinnias in there. I think I like zinnia a lot because it brings a lot of butterflies and uh, bees and this uh, lemongrass is in the shade so it's not doing as well but after the sunflowers are gone these lemongrass are finally has some uh, room to take off because earlier like uh, a month or two ago a month and a half ago they was like so pitiful and that as they got some uh, basils in there some bitter melons back there the vine and really nice basil bush right here or two basil Thai basil one little sunflower still there and another uh, lemongrass so I gave this uh, perilla hedge for a prune because I want to grow a uh, privet hedge so that it gives me a little bit of a privacy back there and I gave it a prune a couple of weeks ago a lot of uh, the milkweeds are doing great um, I transplanted some of the uh, garlic chive out here and has some Amer a Vietnamese mint my piper are doing great under the oh, <laughs> the, the shade under the tree here. And some of the uh, camellia that I propagated are doing great. Uh, fish mint are doing good. I've been eating a lot. And some grapes, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to f find a place to stick them. I need to either give them away or put them down somewhere. Uh, sorrel plant kind of got eaten down <laughs> so much 
and um this is not um uh I don't remember what it's called in Vietnamese I mean in English my crab claws is doing good this seems to like the shade so this is the front and I was thinking my uh, artichokes for artichoke will survive but I don't know two are still kind of struggling these two are really struggling carrots are still going I picked some a couple of days ago and they smells they smell so good and they super super sweet um, the the pig has been enjoying these leaves too had another basil up here just to spread them around because I have so many cuttings this year peonies hedge uh, kind of turned brown so I need to trim them soon so I want them to have a little bit more uh, throughout the another maybe another month to get more energy to take care of the boat to make them bigger and this has become my little shade area where I propagate some of these plants or transplant some of these cuttings I this year I was able to do some uh, ALA and I'm able to get three of these star apples and a bunch of jelly plants here and uh, the strawberry seems to like it on the here on the side with the shade um, so I haven't transplanted my my ginger another um, piper plant I hope it will go around and make a, a big fine and my crab claws been eaten last couple of weeks and uh, some of these um, culantro finally get some shine some sunshine hopefully they'll uh, give me some more seeds what do you see another perilla plant and this year I had this um, moringa is super super sweet I mean not sweet but um, the super super crunch and I love to want them uh, like this they, they, they're very nutty and very nutritious. I threw a few seeds down and look, they got some more uh, and then three more over there. My seed in the area. A little bit more sunflowers for another uh, ses, another session, another season. Um, this become a butterfly area. <laughs> I didn't intentionally have this as a butterfly area, but the hummingbird and the butterflies love to hang around right here. Um, uh, surprisingly, my two, actually there's three, uh, artichokes here doing super well back here. This guy got shaded out, but this guy is doing super well back here. He got whacked by my, my husband's lawnmower and weed whacker that uh, is still doing well and to my potted plants some of these this is um, sugar apple this is a jelly plant harvested and make uh, jelly already I'll link it to the video this is so cool from this plant you just rub it well the way they used to do is rub it but now you just use a blender and I was able to make a really big batch um, this is a sour sob trying to get a few more in case my plant die <laughs> this is the the one uh, i have that i had three cuttings over there now this is star apple i can't wait to have some uh Vusu or star apple um soon maybe in the next few years and i went into a hot pepper panic mode this year and i have so many of them right here I don't even know what kind. I just plucked them down, able to, and hoping to be able to get some uh, for the, the the winter and freeze them because I am almost out. So these are really big. Some down here are much bigger. They're spicy. That's so spicy. And I found a worm, a caterpillar, or a tomato horn worm. Transfer him up here. There's a little guy there. So hopefully he'll turn into a mob. Just one is okay, but if I see a bunch more, then they got to get off my plant. Uh, my little uh, propagation or, or seedling area. And 
my bird eye chili plant. Been picking some. Don't have much of a red color on today. A jasmine, and I think that is it. I hope you enjoy this tour. <laughs> Did I get this flower up there? This went crazy. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this tour and I will see you in the next video. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up. If you like my channel, you know, hit that subscribe button and I will uh, talk to you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye bye.